ranking every single Cheesecake Factory cheesecake today. That's 33 cheesecakes in total. And I'm gonna determine which flavors make it to my top 10 list. There are over 42,000 calories behind me right now. Help. Now I've done this fun ranking game with pumpkin spice drinks and most recently ranches, but this food experiment might be ooh, the most insane I've done so far. Let's do this. I think I should start at my personal favorite cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory. Don't rely on that opinion until the end of this video. The vanilla bean cheesecake. There are lots of nice little beans in there. Call me basic, call me boring, but there's nothing more beautiful than just a light palatable flavor. Honestly, if you're not a cheesecake person, you don't love the overwhelming flavor, that's a really nice in-between of like an ice cream and a cheesecake. I think now is the perfect time to taste the red velvet cake. Is there ever a bad time to taste red? velvet cake. Their red velvet cheesecake has cake and cheesecake in it. But is it truly a cheesecake if there's cake and cheesecake? Did you guys know that red velvet is just chocolate cake? I was a very grown person before I knew that. Okay, there's more texture. Ooh, it's almost like a cake with cream cheese icing. I wanna take second bites, but we're talking about thousands of calories today. I'm not allowing myself to do that. Ooh, I think I have to rank it higher than the vanilla bean. Guys, I'm growing up. I'm gonna pull out this little girl. What? <laughs> That. She's on a Santa Claus ho 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 plate because there's some hoes in this house. This is the very cherry Ghirardelli. Oh, that's cute. I don't love cherry, but I'm gonna give this an opportunity to change my mind. Okay. Not bad. But this kind of tastes like the free dessert that you get on your birthday at a restaurant. Where you're like, oh, yay, I got a free dessert. And then you eat it and you're like, I should have just paid for a better one. I'm gonna dig into the celebration birthday style cheesecake. This makes me wanna lick the batter and not actually eat the cake. It's almost like a birthday cake with mostly icing and not a lot of cake. The flavor is good, it's not too strong. It looks like it would taste like the candy version of a birthday cake. This to me is just okay. The visual to me is more stimulating than the flavor. Some of the guys I dated in college, you're hot, but there's really not much to you. I'm going into the Cinnabon territory. This smell smells like them all. When you got your paycheck on a Friday and you're like, I've got $300 and I gotta go to Journeys and buy a pair of shoes that I don't don't need. That's what this smells like. Ooh, it's a little girthier than I expected. Oh, mm, the chunks, the nuts. She's chunky and that's why I like her. Wow. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I sh I, did I just eat a second bite? I'm about to eat a third bite. Oh my gosh, this is in my top 10. It has to be. I love it because there's so much to chew. Sometimes cheesecake and soft foods remind me of like the mama bird baby bird thing where the mama bird chews all the food up before it gives it to the baby bird. Sometimes I chew cheesecake and I'm like, this feels like it was already eaten by a mama bird. My brain is really weird, I'm sorry. Another classic is the cookie dough cheesecake. I feel like everybody likes cookie dough and thank God they found a way for us not to get salmonella. Well, that's more of a traditional thick cheesecake. That tastes like legit cookie dough. How'd they do that? I wonder if I have like put this in the oven if it would turn into cookies. That's how realistic the flavor is. I think that goes towards the front of the list. I think the people at Cheesecake Factory were really concerned about me when I ordered all of this cheesecake. They called me three times, just confirming that this is what I wanted to do. Tis the season for desserts, sweet treats, showing up with the dish you didn't make, but telling everyone you did. So maybe this pumpkin pecan cheesecake will be your new holiday lie. Um, I don't know about this. It's good, the flavor's on point, but I really like my pecan pecan pies warm. So it being so goopy and so viscousy with the cream cheese, it doesn't quite match. The flavor is so good. I think the goop needs to be less goopy and I almost want it hot. My brain is confused. What else is new? It's time for the lemon meringue. Mmm, that almost tastes healthy. Oh, that's fresh. Oh, mm. did my grandmother send this from the pearly gates? This tastes homemade. Lemon can be a triggering, polarizing flavor, but if you're into lemon, this might be the best lemon cheesecake I've ever had. I think I'm gonna have to pull her closer to the front of the line. But she's special and she needs to know it. Next we dip our toe into the chocolate mousse. If you like mousse, you're gonna like it. It's very good. It tastes like pudding. And that stuff is a lot cheaper than this $10 chocolate mousse. Moving on to a new platter. This is the Adam's PB Fudge Chocolatey Extra Rich. I don't know who Adam is, but he must be pretty bomb to like get a cheesecake named after him. What an honor. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's too much. It's almost difficult to swallow. It is very thick. It like sticks to the walls of your mouth and your throat and it doesn't want to leave. It's just too much. It's just too too many worlds colliding. Ah! 
My husband says I burp like a pterodactyl and one day I scared him with it so much that he burned himself. I'm going into the bowels of this platter here and picking out this caramel apple. It's very apple pie reminiscent. I love apple pie. I don't like it cold. It kind of tastes like cold apple pie. The flavor is really good, not to diminish its value, but the experience is just not ideal. Okay, somewhere in the middle, it'll land somewhere in the middle. Next is the chocolate caramelicious with Snickers. There's a little mini Snickers bar on top. That's really good. Still a lot of competing flavors with the nuts and the chocolate and the caramel and that Oreo type of cookie crust. I could probably only eat three bites of this if I ordered it myself. Speaking of caramel, this is the caramel turtle. I love turtles. I like turtles. All right. Ooh! This kind of tastes like those little caramel squares that your grandpa always kept in his pocket and then you chew it for forever and it gets stuck in your teeth, but it tastes really good, but the experience is so much work. It's the same flavor, but somebody did all that work for you. This is the pumpkin, just plain pumpkin cheesecake, which so many of you on Instagram say is your favorite that you wait all year long for. Let's see what all the hype is about. Should I get a little cruised in there? Wow, wow. Okay, I get it. My eyes have been opened. I've become spiritually awakened. This is as delicious as Instagram said it was. I actually hate pumpkin pie. I hate the texture of pumpkin pie. This is like what pumpkin pie should be. It's a little thicker. This one is the key lime. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm forced to decide between the lemon or the lime. It's like choosing your children. If you're gonna have a key lime pie cheesecake, you should have it from Cheesecake Factory. But is it the one thing you should order when you go to Cheesecake Factory? Okay, let's go to the original. I've never had the original cheesecake. That's good. Mm -hmm. A crowd pleaser, a crowd favorite. But this one is just a very classic experience. Nothing special. I do have my eye on this banana cream. I love nanas, generally speaking. <laughs> feeling of dread is falling upon me right now. Mm -hmm. It's like banana pudding, but cheesier. I took two bites, I shouldn't have. Oh my gosh, I love that. Diving into another classic, the tiramisu. Oh, I like that. It's a really good version. Oh, that might be a top 10. This is like picking Miss Universe with all the Miss countries around. It's like, how do you pick a loser, you know? This one, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like as much. It is the Godiva chocolate. Godiva chocolate to me is a little bit rich, but it smells smells really good. Like no hate on Godiva, but I don't even know if I can take a second bite. That's how much it is. It kind of has like a flourless cake vibe. <laughs> the original cheesecake with strawberries. Oh my God, that was so good. I used to not want strawberry cheesecake because I felt like it was healthy. It is not. As an adult, I realized it's a delicious treat and I've been missing out my whole life. Now that I can move forward with that confidence, I can tell you that is the best strawberry cheesecake you'll ever have. Does it get any more iconic than an Oreo cheesecake? There's like Oreos baked in to the cheesecake. Oh my God. That was so orgasmic. I don't, that word should only be reserved for this particular Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> Next is the white chocolate raspberry truffle. That's pretty good. Mm. For somebody who doesn't love raspberries, that's really delicious. It tastes so fresh. I think this is the mango. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think this is better than the key lime and the lemon meringue. I think it's in the same family, but even better somehow. This tastes like a vacation to Hawaii or something. I feel like I'm cheating on the key lime pie and the lemon meringue. Sometimes we change and grow and evolve as people and sometimes we have to move on to bigger and better things. So it's the lemon raspberry. This one doesn't feel like it has a lot of crust and that's my favorite part. That is so good. The lemon and the raspberry together with the light and fluffiness of the cheesecake and the cake. <laughs> The competitor to Adam's peanut butter option is the Reese's peanut butter option. This one looks just as rich as the Adam's one. Oh yeah, I get it. Adam, be humble, sit down. This is so good. I don't even like Reese's. Peanut butter is a very strong flavor. This is creamy and light. I would never order this. Not because it's bad. The tuxedo name is not enticing to me. Yes, it's good. It's a really good chocolate cheesecake. I think it's probably one of the best chocolate cheesecakes that I've had. It's still a little one note to me. This is the hazelnut chocolate cheesecake. This is like their Nutella offering. It's really balanced. It's not as strong as it looks. I could probably eat this whole thing in one sitting. If you're a hazelnut person, I don't know if it's as hazelnutty as you like it, but it is just like a nice little boop. 
of hazelnut. Okay. So many cakes. How's the tasting? I'm not throwing up yet, so that's a good sign. I'm moving into my last few cheesecakes. It's a surefire miracle we made it this far. This one is cakier. I don't know why I don't like it. Tasting it. I don't know if I, it would be my go-to. Right. It's got, it's got a lot happening. It wouldn't be my pick. Yeah, that's a very Geneva answer. It's a salted caramel. Mmm. Oh. This kind of almost just tastes like cake. I don't feel like there's any flavor that stands out to me in there that makes me think this is really special. Next is the Dolce de Leche. I'm excited about this one. It's good. It doesn't taste as good while you're chewing it, and then when you swallow it, you're like, oh yeah, that was something there. Tell me if I'm not wrong. Hmm. I'm not a fan of that one. It's muddled flavors. It just tastes like sugar. And the flavors don't mesh well. So this is the 30th anniversary. The chocolate is really rich. The cheesecake balances it out beautifully to where it almost tastes like a milk chocolate cake. I think of all the chocolate cheesecakes, I like this one the best with the tuxedo coming in next. My last taste test is the Hershey's chocolate bar. Actually, that's kind of good. Oh, this is so hard. This was ha way harder than ranch because the ranch video had so many losers and this one only has just like a few average contenders. It's basically like the Olympics where everybody comes pretty prepared. The Olympics where they've trained for years so they come pretty prepared. <laughs> well now I have to deliberate, figure out which ones are in my top 10. Pray for me. The top 10 has been chosen. Let me just put a disclaimer here is that like all of these were really good and none of them I hated. If I don't pick your favorite cheesecake, I still like you a lot, okay? Are you ready? In the 10th spot is a very classic cookie dough cheesecake. It's nostalgic, it's delicious. Number nine, the Oreo cheesecake. And the visual artistic design of it on your plate makes you feel like it's worth the $10 you spent on it. In eighth place is the Hershey's cheesecake. Every chocolate lover out there is gonna like it. In seventh place is the red velvet cheesecake. In sixth place is one that is shocking to us. It was the mango cheesecake. I actually, I hope that's what it's called. I think I guessed. In the number five spot, which actually was Matt's number one spot, is the raspberry white chocolate truffle cheesecake. For someone who doesn't like raspberry, I would eat half of a Matt's if he ordered it the next time we go to the Cheesecake Factory. In fourth place, it is a seasonal option. It's the pumpkin cheesecake. I understand why people wait all year long for this. In third place is Cinnabon. It's everything you love about Cinnabon and everything you love about Cheesecake Factory together in a beautiful marriage. And that relationship's gonna last forever. In second place, the Reese's. The Reese's flavor is so signature, but it's not overpowering. In the number one spot, the best cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory is hands down the original cheesecake with strawberries. I'm gonna say also, just as like a side note, number 11 would have been the vanilla bean yeah, cheesecake, yeah. which was my favorite cheesecake coming into this experiment. So I've opened my eyes and my mind to a whole new world of cheesecake mm. delicious treats from the Cheesecake Factory. What is your favorite cheesecake? I'm dying to know. Let me know in the comments. Also check out one of my other videos right here and subscribe to this yeah. channel.